just want to basically give some general updates on uh, where Fluence grows and our overall understanding of, of the timeline and features um, and so on. Um, so like we, we think of Fluence as a, as a kind of several big components and like overall Fluence, okay, like we here building serverless decentralized computing platform, uh, right? So, and um, we separate it into several big things. Uh, one thing is developer platform. So it's developer features tool set and everything. So developers can build and deploy applications. Uh, second thing is a compute marketplace, which means that um, uh, compute providers, uh, their pricing, their offers, uh, deals that they make on chain with developers, all the payments and rewards. Um, and basically when developers deploy applications, they deploy on these providers via marketplace. Uh, then Fluence DAO that manages all protocol and then um, some potential um, vertical products, uh, use case, uh, like use case driven products built on top of uh, developer platform and marketplace. Um, so, yeah, so in terms of developer platform, what we target is uh, serverless, like Lambda basically experience. And we have this mapping of traditional serverless components to tool set or like components that we have influence. So you can think like it's not one on one to one uh, clear mapping, but it's uh, close conceptually. So in terms of functions, we have Marine that runs Wasm. So we have Wasm's like uh, services can, that contain of, of multiple Wasm's as a sort of functionality. Uh, for step functionality, we have Aqua, where you, which you can use to uh, create basically uh, scripts with variety of function calls that uh, express some sort of workflow, how this function calls should be called on which peers and in which order and with like more complex um, behavior. Then for um, calling function via HTTP, we have this intention to have either centralized HTTP gateway provided by Fluence Labs or like multiple gateways provided by, by different companies or allow developers to self-host gateways. So like you, you, so you deploy sort of your, for your project, you deploy uh, your own instance of the gateway and then your functions would be, you can, you can basically integrate your Fluence functions to external world to some web hooks or any other web to tools uh, via HTTP. Um, as an analogy to cron jobs, like to, to call functions by time, we have spells. It's a little bit kind of different thing, but it's about um, executing um, fluence functions uh, based on like regularly based, based on time, basically. Um, in terms of failover, like fault tolerance, we uh, have intention to built in, like we have subnets and subnet is basically a replicated deployment of functions. So whenever you deploy a function, you deploy it on the subnet. And uh, uh, this way you will you will have full tolerance. So you'll be able to switch from um, one function inst like instance to another if like the first provider or server goes down, for example. And this would be done via Aqua failover algos, which are at the moment not yet implemented. Um, on payments, we have the whole like payment model as a part of compute marketplace based on uh, deals between developers and providers and uh, proofs of the of several types of proofs. I'll talk about it later. And then we have CLI, um, which allows to developers and also providers to um, access uh, Fluence Network and all, all of this. Um, so we are not talking much about uh, yet about automatic scaling or um, any other languages or runtime support besides Wasm. We are not talking much about uh, too much data integrations. 
um, we only, for now, we only um, talk about uh, that functions can access um, some data, um, like databases for data storage uh, or the web via HTTP, via curl, or use IPFS. So like HTTP and uh, IPFS are two basically ways to integrate your functions with external data. Um, so yeah, yeah, I have actually I have, yeah, I have slides on computer marketplace. Okay. So computer marketplace is uh, the on-chain uh, thing. So there are on-chain representation of providers. They can make offers with pricing. They can say which uh, data integrations uh, they support. Again, for now it's limited to curl and IPFS. Uh, they can make deals with customers uh, when when customers want to deploy applications, and they receive payments in in stable coins. So the payment by default on coins right now is stable coins. In the future, should be ideally uh, any ERC twenty token. Um, and also, uh, providers can earn rewards for providing capacity. So even if their resources are not yet fully loaded via customer applications they should be able to earn tokens by um, uh, earn rewards by um, proving that their servers or their capacity is connected to a network. Um, and um, yeah, so the marketplace looks like that. Uh, there is a on-chain representation of provider offers and off-chain all the like real servers and fluent spears like Noxus connected to this um, to the chain and, and see uh, what they should do related to uh, deals. Um, there is a several things related uh, verifiability and incentives. So there is Fluence intends to have uh, proofs of execution, which is uh, which are two different types of proofs. There's the proofs for workflows in Aqua that will be done via probabilistic verification, on-chain verification of, uh, probably it's gonna be ZK proofs of particles. Um, so this is still in development um, and we expect to ship it next year. Uh, proof execution is related to WASM and Marine part. It's uh, more complex because also it's, it's a variety of different ways to prove the execution of, of particular WASM. By default, building like just ZK uh, for WASM is too expensive. It, it's, it's just um, economically doesn't make sense to do it for all the WASMs. So there is some ongoing research related to that. And there is a proof capacity, which is about how, how do providers prove that their servers are connected to network, even if they're not yet doing customer jobs. So um, they basically providing these proofs. Uh, and I have, I think I have a slide on it. So again, proof processing is about probabilistic contained validation of uh, of particles, or like ZK proofs of particles. Um, and uh, it, it's basically about um, nodes serving customer requests. Some of these requests based on some on-chain um, config is understood as a, as, a, as a request that should be submitted on chain for validation. And then this request submitted on chain for validation. And then we can approximate uh, who should earn what for the period of time uh, that this request represents. Like it's, for example, it's one, once, one request per million requests globally in the network. Uh, so we can reward all the providers um, for basically million requests based on submitting just one and it's it happens uh, constantly based on uh, probabilistic uh, parameters then uh, proof capacity uh, it's a knowledge of proof of work uh, based on random x algorithm uh, plus some maybe zk uh, probably in the first uh, in the first release it's not going to be based on zk it's just a native um, random X and its validation. Um, basically, providers commit some token stake, that, that, and they then they commit the time that they're gonna um, 
provide particular amount of um, capacity, and then they need to submit proofs uh, based on some like epochs, like some amount of proofs per epoch. So, and uh, while they submit them, they, they get rewards for it. If they stop submitting, they may be slashed. Um, so this is something that um, uh, we expect to deliver in the um, in the initial mainnet um, setup. So uh, the, the the closest big milestone that we want to have here is uh, planned for this winter, and uh, it's basically the uh, minimal developer platform features uh, providing all that I mentioned, uh, like aquamarine uh, spells, subnets, and um, connection to data via serial, serial and IPFS. Uh, it's a compute marketplace, uh, which will be deployed to a one of layer twos. Uh, it's probably going to be application specific, like fluent specific layer two. Uh, we're still debating on final solution here, um, but this is uh, important to make the transactions uh, low cost and to be able to also like as a part of proof capacity to validate uh, proofs also uh, cheaply. Um, and and this is and and like obviously the DAO is a part of. Uh, initial uh, launch um, of all this. Um, and we have like the, the huge lineup of features planned for after this milestone, uh, both on developer platform and with marketplace. So all kind of data integrations, we research towards uh, other types of runtimes, other languages, uh, like GPU support um, and many, many other things. And on Compute Marketplace also, there is a, a lot of uh, basically user experience features that we want to enable, like to allow uh, customers even pay via fiat uh, to have like more trusted, less trusted providers, um, some sort of attestation and, 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 and so on and so forth. So like enable liquid staking and, and all this. Um, yeah, I think that that's the rough update. Um, again, we plan some big milestone for winter. A lot of work still needs to be done, but we are moving forward and we are very optimistic about it. 